Hey, buddy. Yes, it's me. I was always on the other side. You do know that, right? <laughs> I think you're manifesting a miracle. But you're doing it all wrong. Some are right, some are wrong. Because that star, not the best star to manifest what you're doing. I do have something that can help you. It's already here. Because since I'm always around you and I figured you're going to need this. Okay. Here. Okay. Here, buddy. There. Take it. Okay. So I'm going to enumerate one by one. You have there larvae kite, amethyst, citrine, ruby, and rainbow moonstone. All this would be helpful for you to manifest a miracle. One thing for sure is something's burning, and that's that one. And then the next thing that you're going to get is something that is not so good with that star. I'm going to go before something comes up. Okay, bye. Hi Libra, welcome to Cosmetology. We are going to be discussing the February 19 um, uh, full moon happening in Ashlesha. If you are here, please watch the first part at Eat, Read, Love, Inc. So you will see the bigger perspective that we are looking at in, this, in that channel. But if you're here, we're going to be starting from the Libra Ascendant and the Libra Moon. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, this is um, okay. um, in reference if you if you're there of course this is Vedic sidereal astrology Libra happening here so as far as the Libra is concerned okay you just you are natural seventh house natural partnership um, it's all about let's you know let's make things balanced let's make things equal what you give to the table and you know and all this good stuff and being equal um, it's gonna be happening in your ninth uh, tenth house. It's gonna be at uh, 11, 12, yeah. It's gonna be happening in your career. Oh, wow. Very spicy career right now. Since you have cancer here as your natural 10th house, you've been at home, feeling at home, feeling good with your career. Everything is always good. Is it? That's the thing. Is it time to change a job? Is it time to change your calling? Are you finding something new in your life where it's like, you know what? I'm an artist, but I feel that, you know, being an artist doesn't, um, how to say this, doesn't make me happy anymore. I want to be an artist like this, you know, so you, there is a transition that you might feel that you might think of, but you know, don't do it right away. It's just a realization of what you are, your deeper calling, because that's a 10th house. 10th house is going to be your deeper calling for society. You have your sixth house, which is your mundane, your nine to five. Once you finish your mundane, you will go now. A lot of people, um, if you've noticed, they will always have their, their first job, you know, I, I'm not sure which, whichever country you are, from 16 or 21, and then they go through to 32 when they have your uh, Saturn return and all this stuff. Um, and then they shift. It's just like, yeah, I like being, a, I like being, you know, an accountant. I like being like this. I like being a lawyer, a doctor, I like being a chef. All of a sudden, it shifts to their calling. That's where you go. Everybody will go first to their mundane. We all remember. Everybody got to do their time. That's the sixth house. Now you're doing time in your house of uh, um, your calling. So you could probably feeling also in your sixth house it's like, yeah, I don't belong here anymore. I want something new. I want something that calls for me, that needs me, that I can help other people. That's the tenth house. But if you're doing that already, then it's just for you to understand: Do you really love it? Do you really want it? Because remember, it's um, the moon is how we think. So that's what's happening here in your house of career. Okay, so a lot of realization, but it's not for you to take action. It's for you to internalize Libra and how you can help others and how you, um, how to say, how you can serve for the many. That's um, one thing that you would be facing. Okay, thank you very much, Libra, for watching. This is going to be one of those uh, um, seasonal <laughs> predictions that we have here. I'll see you guys again. Bye.